Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Shinobi. I'm a virtual photographer, which means that I take photographs, but in video games. And I'm not the only one doing this. A lot of people are doing that, and a lot of them are very talented. So in this series, love and shout out, I send all my love to one virtual photographer uh, that inspires me or that blows my mind on a regular basis. And that's it. I'm just here to showcase their work, talk a bit about it and why I love it so much and hopefully make you discover them as well or if you know them join me in the comments to uh, celebrate their talent. Alright let's go today we are looking at Takasan work. Let's go! Takasan is mostly active on Twitter or X if you prefer, if you're younger than me. And uh, we're gonna use this account today to just check out their work. I'm gonna go and assume that Takasan is a man, so I'm gonna say he is or he. I'm sorry if I misgender him. I'm pretty sure I know it's a boy, so, anyways. Takasan is a Japanese virtual photographer. His description on, on X says. I love game and virtual photography, camera flash, Japanese flag, and that's it. Located in Japan, and he joined Twitter on December 21. So Takasan is a Japanese virtual photographer, and that's not completely uh, useless to point out because Japanese virtual photographers are pretty damn good. So we have a lot of them uh, in the community, uh, like Kemono Mimi or. Uh, we used to, ha to have Eli VP, I'm not sure they are doing much nowadays. They also created their own magazine and online expositions. Uh, a lot is happening on, on Japan virtual photography side. They also entered Famicom uh, contest and you know, it, it's, it's moving on the Japanese side thanks to those guys and girls I guess with uh, an incredible talent and eye for photography and you know it's needed to have them in the community because japan studios photo modes are pretty bad um that's okay so just in case you don't know watching this video i'm french but i live in japan for 13 years now so i i know i know japan i know how it works i know the the society, the, the way they work together and stuff like this. So I'm not surprised that they are late on the photo mode field. Capcom, you know, if you watch this, please reach out to some of those amazing Japanese virtual photographers. So anyways, um, today is Takasan Day. So I did a small selection of uh, shots that I want to showcase from Takasan, but really you can just go through their uh, feed and you will be amazed by anything they put out. But one thing that is very interesting to me is that Takasan is mainly, widely, mostly <laughs> putting out some vertical shots. It's um, it's something that I cannot do myself. Uh, they post usually like 99% of the time, just one vertical shot at a time. And, you know, I'm, I'm really interested in sets and making shots live together. So I usually put a, a set of three shots, one vertical, two horizontal. That's, that's my usual. And Takasan is making one vertical shot at a time. So it's really good because, well, first of all, if you, if you look at them on your phone, you will be right away um, shocked by the quality of the shot. It's really fitting the format of social media on smartphone. So really cool. So we're gonna watch a couple of them and I'm gonna say what I what I really appreciate about those shots. First of all, because we speak about vertical, I have to point out that you know you know that I don't like the 9 per 16 format and sometimes Takasan keeps it. It still feel like they know what they do. <laughs> So I'm not here to say that they shouldn't, but yeah, I'm sometimes disagreeing with the, the aspect ratio, but for instance, not here. You know, this is a perfect example of right use of 9 per 16 uh, aspect ratio because it really makes your composition super, super thin and super 
uh, long you know and you want to enhance this feeling with the building in the background so in this specific shot what i really like is obviously the sharpness the crispness of it and also the the creativity of it for anyone who shot this game and played this game you might have tried to do this type of shot with both spider-man in the in the frame it's very complicated and especially having them facing different direction it's really complicated so the framing is perfect the the, the background is really cool it gives a, a, a super nice feeling of the shot you can also see that the the web uh, strings are super nicely balanced both of them everything is super cool uh, maybe personally i would have tilted it just a bit more maybe it was not possible i don't know it's just a bit you know the building is a bit it's not straight i wish it was straight that that's just my ocd uh talking but one thing that i really like is that takasan made a video to showcase how he could get this result like at least the position of the spider-man you know showcasing the the sequences he used to get the shot it's it's something in the game that it's part of a mission and um, the, both Spider-Man are going together and then just right here, BAM! He just hit the button at the right moment. Um, he might have tried this a couple of times because it's really complicated timing to get. And then there you have, and then he was just looking around for the proper and the best composition. So I really like the fact that he went from the idea of making them cross and then he worked on a shot to just make it the best he could with the, the, the background and everything like this. You can also tell now that you've seen the video that he worked a lot on the lighting because in Spider-Man you have some custom light system. By the way, I'm gonna make a video soon about light systems, custom light system in, in video games. Keep your eyes peeled for that. So yeah, a lot of work on the, the Spider-Man to light them up properly. Really cool shot, really cool shot. And of course, you might have seen this one because this one won not only its category, it was portrait, I think, portrait category in the last year VP award. Uh, but it also won the overall uh, best of the show prize. So he was the winner of the winners. And, uh, and this shot is definitely deserving it. You can see what I meant by originality, like super nice ID, perfect execution. So this shot is super mesmerizing because of the position of the hand in front of the eye. And of course, it looks like the, the hand goes through the face somehow because of those eyes are so bright and so, you know, the color. We'll see that the color theory uh, into Takasan uh, shots is always on point. But here it's so showing, like everything is blue except those perfect orange eyes. You know, nothing much to say. This shot is absolutely perfect. The use of the, the vignette is also helping bringing the, the effect uh, the, the, that he wanted to create. So perfect, very sharp, very texturized, the hand texture, the, the lighting is not too bright on the, on the forefront and the nose. Everything is really perfect. And it's, uh, it's something that you can find in any shot, really. Um, by the way, the Avatar Frontier shots from Takasana are just mind-blowing, really. So, you know, this type of creative uh, use of reflection, uh, composition in mirror, it's, it's really just great. And putting the, the character silhouette in the middle of that is just perfect, really, you know. Again, using this moon, we'll, we'll see a couple of shots using this, but here it's really the framing that I love because probably myself, I would have gone for something very centered on the, on the moon and the, the character silhouette. And the fact that Takasan kept it in the corner of the shot and giving uh, space to the rest of the landscape it's really enhancing the, this feeling of flying, you know? It, 
you have the idea of the depth of it because they kept the the the, the landscape in there so it's not it's not just about the silhouette in front of the moon that's not the the actual subject of the shot the subject of the shot is the depth of the landscape the verticality of the world and the super freedom f feel that you you might have fighting in this world fighting because the position of the the character is you know a fighting position with the bow so again really masterized um shot here you know I, i'm you know fantastic layering here uh maybe the the background the absolute background on top of the shot is a bit too wide but i guess that there was nothing to to be done for this but if you watch closely the shot uh, you have obviously some super amazing colors with those greens and blues but also i love that the foreground this big leaf like a, th a tongue uh, leaking the, the the landscape is really sharp so that's something that usually you want to do uh, blurred in this type of composition you want you want to have your your foreground blurred uh, but keeping it sharp is really bringing something new which are the textures of this leaf and really a lot of uh, attention once you catch it in your eyes you're like oh wow this leaf is pretty amazing and it it almost becomes the subject of the shot and not only the the navy on the on in in the world super strong composition huh yeah so this too you know this type of shot is not only perfectly executed again with the the tilt that makes this road not a road anymore just lines really but also i really love the colors the warmth of the the sun here keeping the bloom of the sun in the in the top right corner really helps uh giving the 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 feeling of the time of day you know this golden hour and um it's it's really beautiful because you have i feel like you have two two times <clears throat> when you when you watch this shot first you see the composition first you see this curves and then you realize really quickly of course but you know re you realize it's a road and then you realize it's the afternoon and then the story appears in the in the shot this this car going down helps also to create the flow kind of the flow of the river here it, okay that's one of my favorite here okay except for the uh the aspect ratio in this specific case i think there are a bit too much sky up there especially because it's super bright uh, so i would have cut it a bit but you know who am i um but what i love in this shot again is that not only you have a lot of things to watch but you keep discovering details and you keep joining dots um, uh, let me explain that first you just see a cool landscape i guess you know with weird mushroom shaped trees or whatever then you realize that there is a guy in the middle of that okay so then once you realize there is a guy you have the scale uh, happening and then you realize this guy is in the middle of high grass or whatever so you noticed other mushrooms the yellow ones because the color is so different that suddenly it appears and then this these colors go and complement the guy suits color that is green but you know it's a it's a, it makes the perfect mix between the grass green and the yellow of mushrooms so everything starts to link to it the closest element and then you have this blurriness in the back in the foreground so i just mentioned before on another shot that usually you want this and this and here it works well because it kind of makes the whole scene scale a bit more confusing is the guy super small is the nature completely giant uh you you don't really know anymore and it really creates an ambience and of course again the color theory this this yellow in the sky this green on the floor and everything in between being 
both yellow and green, especially those little mushrooms. It's so beautiful. I also want to point out that, and we'll see that in a lot of different shots, Takasan shots are usually very, very bright. I'm not talking about the sky part with the, the white in the clouds here. I'm really just talking about the overall um, brightness of the elements. Everything is super bright, but not too much. You know, it's just like the shot really pops out usually and we'll see that again so keep that in mind um, also we have some super cool ideas that takasan will make in photoshop and what i love about this is that he mentioned it so you have the astronaut eli edited in photoshop tag he always says says it just to not be you know like feeling like lying about uh, a game and i love this because it's a tricky thing we have we make the shots really creative and sometimes use some some techniques that will bring our shot a bit farther than the actual game and people might be confused by this and think this is exactly what happens in game and stuff so it's cool to to mention it when you do something a bit different. Takasan is entering a lot of ha community hashtags made by those great uh, community pages, you know, the Capture Collective and um, things like that. And that's something I used to do in my early years. But yeah, I'm, I'm not doing it anymore. And that's a shame. Actually, I know it's a shame because it's a really great opportunity to just go uh, be on your own ideas and just give you some some new new ideas new new challenges to to do i shot so many games that usually i do have a lot of shots feeding any of those um, themes or you know challenges so that's why I, i'm not really entering them anymore but i should i actually should and takasan is reminding me this thank you um, you know, like this one, TCC Balloons, he went in the Crew Motor Fest and got this shot that I have no clue how, what's happening here, you know? You, you have some Manta's balloon and you have a, a flying boat and I, I never played this game so I have no clue how he did it, why, <laughs> why it's happening. But again, I can see the, the brightness of everything and the, the blue and the, the the orange is fighting here in this shot it's it's beautiful of course the tilt is is really clean and you can see that um, you know this kind of detail I'm, I'm a big fan of it you can see that the, the the horizon line is going down to the exact corner it's not exact there is one half of a millimeter but you know uh, it's close enough. It's really going into the angle of the shot. I love this. It's it's something that shows the, the, the attention to the details that Takasan put in this shot. And this one is one that blew my mind recently. I don't know what it is that I love so much about it. I mean, obviously the framing and the, the angle and the reflection on, in the car. But it's also, again, it's also a great idea and uh and the perfect execution of it the the sun rays are super nice ah oh, damn this shot is so impressive and again this brightness all over the place that that really makes a cool balance it's super hard to get i mean i don't know if you realize this but it's super hard to get something that is bright all over but not too bright there, too dark there. It's really just well balanced. I love it. Same. Booyah. Just the same. Look at this plant. I mean, we've seen this before. I love how he used everything being on focus. That's something I try to do sometimes. Just not to go for the doff everywhere and just keep focused on every element because it, it kind of flattened the image <laughs> i know i used this this word before for the black and white uh, video and it was not super well understood but everything is at the same level the leaf in the foreground and the the flying thing i don't know how it's called in the game uh, are just exactly put at the same level because it's all blurred the same 
and that's what I call flatten. It doesn't mean that there is no depth because of course the perspective still works and you still understand what's going on. But the the, ima the image you, you got to see just put everything on the same level and it's a, a strong choice and uh, a really bold decision. Really love that. Again, some Photoshop edit for super cool IDs. It was for the Pride month or week. Uh, I don't know. Do I really have to comment this shot? Again, it's dark. It's the night. There's no doubt about, about it. And yet, it's all so bright. Uh, it's all so clear. And you can see so many things in this shot. I really want to do the same shot, actually. I wanted to do it. Uh, the minute I got the broom in this game, Hogwarts Legacy, I was like, okay, I want a shot with Hogwarts, uh, the moon and the, the silhouette. He did it before me and I'm pretty sure I will not be able to make a better shot than this. So I'm not going to try. I'm going to try, but this again, black and white, not usual for, for Takasan, but you know, the idea is not that new. The execution, though, is perfect. And it gave me, I mean, again, I, I wanted to do this type of shot using Lumos uh, in, the, in the game. I couldn't do it before I saw that one. So eh, I was a bit like, OK, I need to find something else. And uh, it inspired me to actually do this one. So yeah, trying to find a different appro approach than the, the 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 shadow on the with the hat you know i i played with the um, positions and i i found this one that i was kind of happy with but my original id was the same than takasan and he did it better so we have some super amazing photoshop edits here this one uh, really blew my mind using all the the suits and now there there will be some new suits out soon, I think, in Spider-Man 2. I wonder if Takasan will update this uh, amazing shot. Really, look at the composition. I mean, it's 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 Marvel level here. It's really something that they could have done. And I'm gonna end with this shot of Hogwarts Legacy again. I want to point out how everything is super bright and beautifully you know balanced we have all the elements important of course the layering is really great with the the hippogriff and the the, the castle on i mean the school back there but also the coloration this super super bright green of the land and super beautiful blue of the hippogriff uh, that is really going with the sky blue and then you have this kind of inverted composition with the the triangle shape of the hippogriff and the triangle shape of the school and the the roofs the roof roofs 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 whoa i don't know the plural of roof <laughs> You have the blue on the top half of the shot and then the green on the lower half and then this hippogriff really going through the screen for you because of this uh, perfect coloration. What can I say? That's that's some amazing shots all around and everyone every time Takasan puts a new shot out, I'm super, super excited and uh, very interested in the quality of everything so that's it uh, give a, a follow uh, to takasan if you if you don't yet which would be amazing seriously like what are you waiting the links are in the description below so yeah and that's it for me today i'm gonna i'm gonna keep watching you guys and uh until next time for the next love and shout out uh episode we will have different videos before. So keep your eyes peeled for that. And uh, I'll see you in the next videos. In the meantime, you keep snapping, right? Bye.